At a Zoom Bible study, we were studying the book of Galatians in chapter 5. Galatians is a letter that was written by the Apostle Paul to a group of churches that he started in the area of Turkey known as Galatia. In verses 16 and 18, we are instructed to be led by the Spirit of God and to walk by His Spirit. We are also told that if we are led by the Spirit, we will not fulfill the lustful tendencies that we often have. It is good to remember why Jesus sent the Holy Spirit. He sent the Holy Spirit to remind us, his followers, of what is in God's Word. That is why we need to regularly meditate on the Bible and hide the Word of God in our hearts. A quick definition of lust. Lust is anything that draws us away from doing what's correct from God's perspective. Now for a lesson from a treadmill, which came to mind when I was thinking about those verses in Galatians. The problem comes when I look around trying to see what's on many other overhead TVs or when I look to see what time it is. If I look away for more than a quick glance, I head into a mini disaster. Note, this guy's mini disaster didn't just affect himself. Because I don't want to be led by my feelings, I must understand what it means to walk in God's spirit. The treadmill helps me to understand that the more I keep my eyes on Jesus, the better off I'll be. What does it mean to keep my eyes on Jesus? First, it's helpful to read about his life in the four Gospels. There I get to know him better and to see how he interacts with all kinds of people. In fact, the more I get to know the Bible, especially the writings like Proverbs and those written by the Apostles Paul, Peter, John, and James, the more I understand what to avoid in life, and the more I'll see what things that result in joy and peace. For example, God says to us, as found in Proverbs 23, 26, my child, give me your heart and let your eyes observe my ways. The more we look to Jesus through his word, the more equipped we'll be to navigate this life. So we'll know how to answer the question, how should we now live in the 21st century? If this video has been a blessing, please tell others and like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. May the Lord Jesus be with you and bless you now and forever.